Hello photographers, today I'm going to show you the lighting setup for product photography so you can get that beautiful clean white background like this. And in fact, I'm not just going to show you one way to do it, I'm going to show you three different options for achieving the clean white look. Let's get started. To do this, you're going to need a few things. First off, the thing you're going to photograph, in this case, my Harley Quinn Funko Pop. You're going to want a white paper background. Now, I actually have a roll of white paper mounted on my work table here, but you don't have to use a roll of white paper because you can go to your local dollar store and get pieces of white poster board for like 50 cents. You'll, of course, need your camera, and then you need a flash, which as you can see here is set up at camera right. But ideally your flash will have an umbrella on it. Now let's take a look at this setup from a different angle. The flash is set up at camera right, pointing at an angle down at our subject on the white background. And the flash is about two feet away from the subject. Now the subject is about eight inches away from the background. And this is important because we're using one light, which means we need this light to illuminate both the subject and the background behind the subject. If you have this light too far away, or if you have the subject too far away from the background, you're going to lose the background into gray, which will defeat the purpose of what we're trying to do here. The flash is set to one quarter power and the camera settings are ISO 200, which is the lowest ISO available on the Olympus OMD EM5 that I'm using. F7.1 to ensure that my subject is fully in focus from front to back and one 160th of a second, which is the maximum sync speed available on the EM5. And when we take this photo, we get something that looks like this, which is beautiful, simple, clean white background. Now you might be saying, well, there's some shadow on the camera left side of the subject because the light is coming from the camera right side. There's a super easy fix for that. All you have to do is bring in a reflector and place it on the camera left side. Make sure the reflector isn't showing in the image, keep it just out of frame, and then just prop it up with something. And when we take that photograph, that shadow is eliminated by bouncing light back in on the subject. So that's setup number one. Let's take a look at setup number two. For this setup, you're going to need a light box like the one I showed you how to make in this video right here, your camera and subject, your light, which is positioned off at camera right, pointing at the diffusion material of your light box in towards your subject. Now, the camera settings for this setup are actually identical and the flash settings are also identical. And when you take this photograph, you get this beautiful clean white background with no shadows because your light box actually has a built-in bounce panel bouncing light back in to fill in those shadow areas that we got from the first setup. So that's setup number two. Let's look at setup number three. For this next setup, we're not actually using a flash. Instead, we're using two continuous lights. And if you have a light box, you can do this inside of your light box. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about the setup, you don't need LED lights like these LED lights that I have here. These are just the lights that I'm using. You could use clamp lights from your local hardware store or other lights that you can control the directionality of. With that being said, this is what the setup looks like. We have our subject very close to the background. In fact, we're looking at about an inch and a half away from the background. And then our lights at camera right and camera left are both about eight to eight and a half inches away from the subject. And our camera settings are ISO 200, F7.1, and 1 250th of a second. However, an important note here is that your camera settings will vary depending upon the lights you are using to illuminate your subject. So what's important here is how you set up the subject, where the subject is in relationship to the background, and where those lights are rather than the camera settings that I'm using. But with that, let's take a look at the picture that you get when you take a photograph. And here it is, nice, beautiful, clean white background behind our subject. So that's three different lighting setups for product photography to get you that clean white background. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about flash photography and how to control light to create amazing photos, check out my free flash photography quick start guide. Link right here in the info card or down in the description. And then do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel and get out there and take some damn photos.